Hello there, this is Dango1867, and as you can see, this is Homefront. Hope you're all uh, doing okay today, because I am Tickety Boo, and uh, this is one of my uh, first uh, games of Homefront. I think it's my uh, third, maybe the fourth game I had on the game. Um, I have to say a massive, massive shout out to Screwfler. I was a fellow YouTuber who actually sent me a copy of the game for nothing, which is madness in my eyes, but the guy is just a, a legend. Yeah, go check out his channel. I'll be uh, putting a link to him in the description. He does uh, lots of quality videos himself, uh, doing a lot of helpful tips on uh, Mass Effect 3 at the minute, and uh, he's well worth a look if you're into those sort of games. And the other shout-out goes to Kamikaze Shun, who is uh, my... Uh, father-in-law who uh, happened to recently have rebought Homefront having had it before when it had all the problems with the multiplayer and I uh, got rid so he happened to have a spare license hanging around and uh, that saved me even more money so basically thanks for those two guys the legends they are I have now got a game for nothing and it's a great game I've got to say it's a, it's a really really enjoyable game I'm finding it a, a good sort of step away from uh, COD at the minute. Um, I was getting pretty bored with Modern Warfare 3, apart from doing the uh, Masters series for all you guys out there, which I, I still continue to do, and I'll still try and get on there to play with a few mates every now and again. I've uh, recently been playing with uh, a couple of work colleagues, which seems to have uh, picked it up again, but I still... Um, find it hard to just sit and put an hour in without having to want to punch the wall after I've been playing playing Modern Warfare 3 at the minute so I'll, I'll get back onto this uh, gameplay it's uh, on the map Green Zone um, I had to look up because I, uh, I played a lot played for about 2-3 hours, I still haven't played loads and as you can see I've uh, done a bit of editing to speed up the gameplay I don't really like doing commentaries over like 10, 20, 10 to 15, 10, 20 minutes, 10, 15 minutes long. So, um, but I just uh, cut out some of the parts. The maps are quite big on front as we all know. And uh, I thought, oh, did I get that one? That's terrible. Yeah, the maps are quite big, so you do spend a few minutes trying to run back to where the action is occasionally. So I decided to try and speed it up. This is probably the best game I've had uh, so far. A bit of a spoiler, it ends up 19 and 5. Which is not bad. Oh, switch to you. We get a double. Nice, nice double there. Double kill. Yeah, I um, I don't really know the maps much, so I was quite happy to get a decent enough game pretty early on because um, usually when you pick up a new first person, especially when you go straight to multiplayer, you tend to get raped, raped, raped until you learn the maps. On this, I suppose I, I picked it up a bit. I got raped a few times. Sounds really bad that I got raped a few times. I got raped a few times, and um, then I started to find the find my groove a little bit, get used to the guns. Uh, I'm using the I think it's the tactical layout with the ACR and the ACOG on in this game, and um, I think Hellfire UAV and uh, hip fire with flashbang. I think it is. I don't really know how all the uh, perks work at the minute. I'm a uh, I'm still very much a home front noob, so um, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's, uh, I'm yet to play the campaign, but I, I definitely will because I think it's a bit of a waste when you don't play the campaign. I know a lot of people, I always jump onto multiplayer first, but I always go back and put, finish the campaign. I don't see the point of getting a game, even if it didn't cost anything like this, did, and not playing the campaign. It's, it's there to be played, they wouldn't have put it in if it weren't. Go on, have some. Yes. Quite liking the ACR. Um, not really opened up many weapons at all. I'm very low level at the minute. So uh, yeah, the maps are good. The uh, they seem to be. I like that. Like the fact they've got vehicles and there seems to be quite a diverse uh, set of weaponry. Um, I'm loving using the Vector. If you've seen, uh, I did a Dango's Ditty video where I used the Vector, and that's a a beast. It's a, a proper cool gun to use. I, I did enjoy using that. So so far, touching wood. Me touching the wall, well, wooden bit of it anyway. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Um, 
But I would like all you uh, Homefront veterans out there, because I know there's plenty of my mates uh, on YouTube and on Twitter who play it, because they were the guys who were like pestering me to go and get it. Stop playing Modern Warfare, get a different game. Get Battlefield. Well, I've still got no money for Battlefield, so Homefront will have to do for a while. So I'm, uh, I need some tips and some uh, some layouts, something to just uh, help me out uh, in these early stages, because at the minute I haven't got a clue. Uh, I'm trying to put what I can together to try and get good scores, but I'm going up against people with who seem to have these like magical guns that kill me from 500 yards with one shot, and I'm still stuck with basic couple of assault rifles and uh, submachine guns. So if there's any any of you guys want to drop me some some hints and tips of uh, how I should or shouldn't be playing this game. I, I do seem to be quite defensive. I hate this guy. He's a great little camper going up there every two minutes. Yeah, if there's any um, tips and hints of how to play. I do tend to play defensive when I uh, first get a game. I, I, that's always been the same. Uh, so I do apologise if this is a little campy at times. Oof, nearly admitted to get you. Yeah, get out. Nice one. Yeah, I, I do play defensive while I'm in maps. Have some. Another one? Oh, where did he come from? It's bugger. Yeah, so I apologize now for all you guys. Oh, you're not rushing and killing 500 people at once. I'm not rushing and killing 500 people because I don't know the maps at all. And they are quite big. So if I'm a little campy and a little defensive, that's why. It will get, it will get better as I get better, hopefully, anyway. Camper guy again. It seems to be that does seem to be a, a big spot for people on this map. I've only played it, I think, a couple of times, but that little uh, sign up there, which uh, I find bizarre because I've tried the snipers on this and they seem rubbish. Maybe it's me just not being very good with them, but I just can't seem to get the grips with the sniper rifles on this. Though I'm not a massively good sniper when it comes to most games, but on this it seems to be you can fire at people and not hit them anywhere near even though you've got it dead center on the chest at quite close range here's me uh, camping up a storm on this little rooftop but, but we're still winning so it's all right so it's, it's just covering me corners so uh, like I said uh, if you uh, do watch this Hopefully you do, and uh, you are into home front. Uh, please give us some uh, feedback on uh, how I'm doing so far. I'll uh, hopefully won't stay a noob for long. So you still don't really get these uh, kill streaky things either. With these like missiles and stuff. I've still got most of the things to open up. So hopefully uh, before long I'll uh, be able to rack up some uh, much more. Imp more impressive kill streaks and uh, get some a bit more exciting uh, gameplay. But for now, I'm I'm really enjoying it. What's he doing? Oh my! Have that son. No, they're not game. Someone's bloody firing at me anyway. Yeah, so hopefully I'll be uh, I'll be up to speed quickly because it's uh it's got a decent. Uh, Decent layout, it's pretty similar to most first persons as you'd expect. So uh, and if you haven't played on front, I'd uh, I'd seriously recommend it. I think it's it's really cheap at the minute. Obviously it's one of those games that needs uh, a silly license, which I completely disagree with. I don't understand why they can try and charge you twice for a game, but let's not sidetrack and get into that. Yeah, I minute's mean, uh, really cheap, you can get it brand new now, I think on Amazon for about 8.45 and um, you can't fault that for a brand new game especially as uh, you'd have to pay I think about a tenner for the license if you bought it second hand for a fiver so better off trying to find a, a nice uh, new copy what is he doing? what are you doing? He's laying on the floor oof so coming towards the end now I, uh, I think I'm going to rack up another another kill and uh, these are uh, Helicopters have me very much pinned down because I'm still uh, very much a noob and don't know how to shoot them down properly. So on this, I will uh, 
hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, as always, I will catch you all later, peeps. See you later, peeps.